tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The champion, four years older than the challenger, who is two inches taller. Here he is, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by Quebec Athletic Commission, Commissioner Michelle Hamlin. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Richard Bertrand, Sal Diamato, and David Therrien. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lundin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a karate fighter, holding a professional record, 15 wins, one loss. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, presenting the challenger and the seventh ranked flyweight fighter in the world, Kyoji Horaguchi. And now, presenting the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a pancreatic fighter holding a professional record 21 wins, two losses, one draw. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. You take a step at all time, we'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch that, do it now, go back to your corner. Demetrius Johnson, Kuyoji Horaguchi. The title at 125 is on the line. Yves Lavigne, our referee. You ready? You ready? Fight! Here we go! White trunks for the champion, Demetrius Johnson, Southpaw. White and blue trunks for the challenger, Kuyoji Horaguchi. And Horaguchi opens up with a kick to the body. Look at Johnson getting real low, moving around. The Horaguchi style is just so unusual. The leaping in and out, the wide stance. Very reminiscent of Kid Yamamoto in his prime. Look how wide he stands. He's also very good at faking movement, faking like bouncing forward, bouncing back, bouncing forward, then forward again. Here's a nice kick to the body. Switches stances too very easy. Very, very fast seamless. Too. Very fast. And that's the one thing that most guys can't handle is the speed of Demetrius Johnson. But Johnson's been in there with Dodson, and I think Dodson's the fastest guy in the division next to Mighty Mouse. Jo I mean, Dodson's ridiculously fast and has ridiculous knockout power as well. And so Johnson's experienced that. Dodson, that was the first title defense for DJ back in 2013. And Johnson making him think. Diving for that single, mixing it up. Six title defense for Demetrius Johnson. Became the first flyweight champion in UFC history with a win over Joseph Benavides back in September of 2012. There's a couple questions that I had coming into this fight. One, would Johnson be able to deal with the leaping in and out style like this that Horiguchi has? And then two, would Horiguchi be able to keep this up? How long can he do this? We've never seen him fight four and five rounds like this. Real wide base. 
for Horiguchi. A lot of energy expended uh, with every movement. Everything is exploding. Exploding in, exploding out. But if he lands... Tonight, the eighth guys work. time, Johnson scheduled for a full five rounds. He's gone the full five rounds four times. Conditioning always outstanding for DJ. Outstanding, I mean, just exemplary. No one has ever seen this guy tired in a UFC fight. It's just never happened. He will fight five rounds the exact same pace. And we saw a, a guy who fights in a very explosive, physically aggressive style in Ali Bagotinov. Yes. And he outworked that guy and then Bagutinov tested positive for EPO. So, you know, he was enhanced and still couldn't keep up. Moriguchi right out of high school, showing the crazy beat team with his hero, Kid Yamamoto. Look at the pressure that Johnson puts on you, just the movement. And he's, he's a ghost. He's never totally right in front of you. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. And Nicely drops down. Done. I mean, the speed of that combination to the transition to the takedown it's unprecedented. Nobody else does that. I mean, he was 12 for 12 in takedowns in Seattle against John Morocco. 12 for 12. And then finished him on the ground. And the fight he was dominating. Yeah. Moraga can, can wrestle. That was also the fight where we saw him get caught because Moraga caught him with a nice, clean, straight punch. And Johnson absorbed it and kept up the same style. And that submission of Moraga was the latest finish in UFC history. Maybe and up to a lighter that. weight. Yeah, up to a lighter weight. Anderson and Chael was at 310. Morago's at 343 of the fifth show. Well, wasn't Frankie Edgar versus Cub Swanson the latest ever? Because uh, that was the Mike fifth Hill. round. Yep. Fifth round. I think it was only a few seconds ago. I'm pretty sure I'm right here. Don't argue with me, buddy. <laughs> Trying to work it here. <laughs> they were both really late in the fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Haraguchi back up to his feet. And Johnson moving. No damage significantly done either way yet. Ooh, nice nice kick. inside leg kick. Good timing there. Not noting that, yeah, noting that he was moving towards his left. Caught him cleanly. Pushing wow. forward. Looking One for that left hook. Missed it. And right back up. 30 now. Oh, right nice hand. kick to the body, too. These guys are moving low. so fast. Again with that Not kick. Delayed he's, again, been, he's doing a really good job of leaping in with that kick though. Even if he catches it, it's still lighting up his body. You see the redness on the left side of DJ's body. So Horiguchi has scored here in the first five minutes. Good, good. Water, how are you? How are you? Dude. Lean forward. It's clean. You're clean. Good. It's good. Punching is good. Keep moving forward. Good. Breathe. Cross the distance. You need to stay on him after that. You're letting him get away. Just get on him. It's like you're like you're not wanting to get close to him. I want you close to him now. From now on, it's going to take relax and breathe. Okay. It'll all come. Once you get him down, you walk those hips out and tip his shoulder towards the ground. Okay. okay? Block the hand that he's sitting up on. When he's, when he's on the cage, it goes wide base. Boys, you can bring that leg in, yep. right? Up, like we worked on, or he sits hard. Okay. Just the leg out. Okay. Round two. Contrast and advice between the two corners, pretty obvious. And, and just the way that Dimitri's like, Kate, okay, Kate, okay, right, like you can tell Hi. how much he truly respects. His longtime trainer, friend, mentor, Matt Hume. Very simple. I never met a single person in MMA that doesn't respect that guy. Yeah, absolutely. He has earned it both in and out of competition. Nice knee there. Yeah, Johnson fast pace here to start the Johnson, second. Yeah, Johnson staying on top of Horaguchi. Welcoming Horaguchi to the big time. Horaguchi with the you know, blitz and a Horaguchi nice knee. Happy to be here. I think he connected with that knee, Mike. Yep. Now they grappled in front of us. Again, Horiguchi with that wide base. Makes it very difficult for Mighty Mouse to get the takedown. You saw 
He really didn't go too far with it. Now they spin. And a takedown by Horiguchi. Oh, look at this. Very nicely done. That is something you don't see very often. We'll show the replay in between rounds, but Horiguchi did land that knee. And that's one of the things that makes him dangerous, that blitz style. If you get caught not knowing if you're going left or right, and you just don't make that split-second decision quick enough, nice left hand on the break by Horiguchi. Horiguchi on a nine-fight winning streak. He just barely missed with that left hook there, Mike. And he has said many times he will win tonight by knockout. Which is generally how he finishes fights. Well, he's got such an odd style. That, that's leaping in and out blitz style. It's very difficult to prepare for. Nice head this. movement there, ducked under. And now Johnson with another takedown. And immediately listening to exactly what his corner said, grab the ankle that he posts up on, grab the wrist rather that he posts up on, and drive that shoulder to the mat. Even in this position, a lot of head fighting going on. Let's go, guys, work. Gucci trying to get his way back up. Johnson keeps a grip around both legs and tries to continue to pressure. Nice knee to the body by Mighty Mouse. Snaps him down with a headlock. Very nicely done. Good timing to land that knee as well. Drags him again, back down. Same knee to the body. Nice right hand. Shooto, rookie of the year, back up. Went high with that kick and then immediately down. I mean, there's no, no hesitation between the kick and the takedown. <laughs> Round two could be a very long 25-minute fight. A place where DJ has been many times. Horiguchi's only been scheduled for five rounds one time. That was in Valley Tudo, Japan in 2013. And Horiguchi just took a big, deep breath. And DJ grabbed hold of him again, one more time, down on his back. Just the pressure that he applies on his opponents. And this will zap your cardio. Mighty Mouse in Horiguchi's face in every single second of this fight. And you hear the call for pressure continuously from Hume to Johnson. Well, he doesn't want to stand here, because that's where Horiguchi can yes. get him. That's where he got him with that knee early in the round. That's why he wants to constantly be the aggressor, close the distance, and not allow Kuyoji Horiguchi to get those feet set and those big punches that come all the way down from the legs. Horiguchi looks at the clock. Yeah, he's got to be thinking right now. I got to go. Three more <laughs> right? Like yeah. What do you mean we've only gone nine minutes? Yeah, he's taking some big, deep breaths. And there's again that knee to sternum. Very nicely done by DJ. Quick hands. And Horiguchi right back up to his feet. But good control here in the clinch by DJ. Oh, nice right hand by DJ. Push forward, back to the center. That blitz is so good. He's so good at that. He might be the best guy in the division of covering distance landing shots like that. Oh, uh, nice right hand by DJ. Still pushing forward. Good round for the champion. Let's take a look at that knee from earlier in the round. And here's the blitz first. Look at that. Boom! There's the knee. And he takes him down from this, but look at the connection on this knee. That's pretty significant. That might be one of the biggest shots that Mighty Mouse has ever had to eat in his career. But late in the round, look at that right hand. And you notice also the sloppiness of Horiguchi's movements. And then That's you're gonna have to him over it. Okay? Yeah. Matt Hume, Brad Kurtz. You're staying back too far on the knees. 
You're staying back too far in the legs. You gotta get over those knees okay. and you gotta pull them back, okay? Too many wild punches. I want you to combinations. I want you to shorten your combinations and just keep pressure on him. Let's go, okay. And throw your punches. Throw your punches after you're against him. Okay. Getting set for the third round. Started to see Horiguchi slow down towards the end of that third round. Let's see if he catches yeah. the second. We also saw that knee he landed, though, Joe, and one of those knees could be a game changer. It certainly could. Speaking of knees, Matt Hume said he was a little too far with him. Want to get a little closer? Just put that knee kind of through your opponent. Look at that timing of that. Ducking under that, lands the kick. Then right back up. The, and the transitions between grappling and striking are so seamless. Nice inside leg kick. DJ kind of took it, rolled away from it, but still did damage. Yeah, he didn't check it, and, and some guys don't. They just let that leg kind of fly away. Well, oftentimes, it's when they catch it too late. Of course, the, headlock there. Yeah, the southpaw stance against an orthodox stance makes the kicks even more interesting. That's the way that Johnson rolled away from him. Now he's got Horiguchi again down to the mat. He just never lets him breathe, never lets him take a break. Look at this, Horiguchi pinned down here, Mighty Mouse on top of him, carrying his weight. And if Horiguchi does get back up to his feet here, he will expend a lot of energy to do it. Joe, you could make the argument that if Horiguchi truly was to knock out Demetrius Johnson, it would be earlier in the fight because the power, the technique, as you said, kind of gets drained as Demetrius Johnson stays on top of you. It's certainly possible that he can contain that power or hold on to that power right? in the fourth and fifth because he is very well conditioned, but. This, he's never had a fight a fight like this, right, ever. Right. I mean, this is a new experience. DJ's fought a ton of fights like this. Oh, he caught him. Yep. He caught DJ there. He caught him with a left hook there. Like you said, that said, one punch from Horiguchi, one knee, one kick. And we could see a little history. Johnson well aware of that, staying very elusive. Also because his style is so hard to prepare for. It's like this blitzing, leaping in, attacking style. It's very much like, like karate point fighting with MMA. So I was talking about the attack of Lyoto Machida. Can he take him down again? Not that time. But still, Johnson finishes that combination in exchange. There's the takedown. Nicely done. Ducked right under that. His reaction time is amazing. Trying to step over that. Guard, trying to step over the right leg of Horiguchi. Shoulders down and then Matt tuck Hume. that knee through. There you go, now drive towards that shoulder. Don't let that arm come through. There you go, now when you repass again, don't let that arm come through, because it turns. Okay, heavy on that leg, heavy on that leg. Both men perfect at 125. Horiguchi's only setback was at 135. That's the most technical corner advice you're ever going to hear. There's no hyperbole. There's no, you're the best, kick his ass, go get him. You don't hear any of that nonsense. You just hear straight technique. Drop that arm, drop that arm. Side control for Mighty Mouse. It's a big benefit to DJ to be right there on the ground in front of Matt Hume where you can hear him like that too. Inside control here. Johnson with eight career wins by submission. He has never been finished in his 24 fight career. Final minute of the third. He's looking to try to pin down the arm of Horiguchi, perhaps a mounted crucifix. It's, it's difficult to see what he's trying to set up. But Horiguchi so far is defending well. It's hard to hold on to, but 
one of the things that's going on here is he's getting his energy sapped like a vampire. Because when you're on the bottom like this, you're carrying a guy's weight, you're working twice as hard, you're trying to get him up. Now he's got one arm trapped. He's got his right arm trapped in between the legs of DJ. And DJ's also trapped the second arm. Yeah. Full mounted crucifix mounted here. Mounted crucifix here, 15 seconds, one arm. It's, it's free for Horiguchi, and 10 seconds. Frustrating, it's claustrophobic, it's a terrible place to be. He has the, the arm on the wrong side of his neck. He wants the arm on the right side of his neck to really truly hold it in place. And it's another round won by the champion. Move at your pace and pressure him. Good. If you move forward, you can get him. You have to move. You lost that round. You need, you need to knock him out. You keep driving towards that far shoulder. Okay. Once you pass, you got to get busy and work from there. Okay. Okay, so trap that near arm. arm. You gotta trap that near arm sooner. Okay. You trap that near arm sooner, Luckily. and he's done. Okay. Championship rounds. Johnson, Can first tell, time please. fighting in Montreal. Yep. Fought in Vancouver yeah, before, in just a course. couple hours north of his home in Seattle. I know. I know. Fought Benavides to become the no, first flyweight champion care at the Air Canada Center friend. in Toronto. Thanks. Looking for his sixth title defense. Second five rounder for Horiguchi. Oh. And again. In, strike, out. Good right hand wanted Horiguchi. that counter jump. The Horiguchi's corner telling him that he needs to win by knockout. Let's see what effect that has on him. Horiguchi likes distance. Johnson's done a great job of taking it away from him so far. <laughs> DJ, look at how quickly he takes the back. Horiguchi just going down. Yeah. He can grab a punch and now he's up. Going for the Muay Thai, so dirty boxing here. Right hand connected by both men. Good knee to the body there by Haraguchi. He needs a lot more of those. Johnson again looking for the single this time. And they break. Ducking under. Takes his back. He's so good at that. Yeah, well, his timing and reaction time is just amazing. Yeah. But again, when it comes to technical mixed martial arts, I mean, this is what it's all about. I mean, you, you just, you're not going to see this in heavyweight. You can't. The, the guys are too affected by gravity. When you're watching the, the light guys move like this, this is where you learn what's, what's possible at the very highest level of MMA. Because that's what you're seeing. You're seeing the highest technical level possible in the world today in Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson against a formidable challenger. Joe, it's like I said at the top of the show, be brilliant at the basics. And that is what Demetrius Johnson is, as technically sound as any fighter ever in the octagon, ever in MMA. Well, not only that, not just ever, but MMA is constantly evolving. And this is, we're at the front of the line right now. This is, this is as good as it's ever gotten. And this guy is the best representation of that we've ever seen. I mean, he's not the best knockout artist ever. He's not the best submission artist ever. But he's the best overall mixed martial arts fighter ever. Looking for a knee. And again, he shoots. Ducks right under perfectly. Horiguchi starting to bleed out of his nose. And that's going to force him to open his mouth more. And he's already breathing out of that mouth anyway because he's tired. So he's not going to get as much air coming through his nose. He's constantly having to fight to get Johnson off of him. 
Again, nice. he swarms right off the break. And you see Horaguchi's got this look in his face like, Jesus. Yeah, leave me alone guy, already. Is this guy getting yeah. energy? He keeps that forearm pinned to the neck. Constant pressure, constant pressure. Right back on him, kick to the body. It's like these guys in training, Joe, that get like five different opponents for each round to keep them fresh. Demetrius Johnson is all five in just himself. Stays at this pace, continues to make his opponent fight his fight. Yeah, you can rotate sparring partners on him all day long. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Absolutely. He's still in the first round. One minute. I mean, I would love to find out what their strength and conditioning routine is like, because it's it's got to be unbelievable. It's probably a highly guarded secret or something like that. Yeah, it's kept secret forever. Everybody has their own methods. It's one of the unique things about MMA is that it's still a growing sport. It's not like an established protocol that everybody uses. There's a lot of trial and error. A lot of it's based on the different styles of the athletes and how they fight. Plus the Mighty Mouse powers for Demetrius Johnson. Exactly. <laughs> 30 seconds. Wasn't the original Mighty Mouse like the, the original PED user? <laughs> right? He had like a super energy pill that he would take. I don't know. It might have been legal though. <laughs> Guarana or something. <laughs> 15. And Horaguchi is really having a hard time figuring out what to do with this guy now, especially in this round. This is probably the least nice kick to the body by Johnson, the least successful round so far for Horaguchi. And one that he needs so desperately. Now it's finish it or bust. Well, you always you have to find out what a guy's made of when it comes to these sort of fights. With Horaguchi, does he fold? Does he say, okay, I'm just going to be defensive and try to get through this. I've lost this fight. Or Last round. does he go Last for round. This is it. Does he throw himself into the fire? That's a champion over there. Focus, focus. Show me something. Till the end, till the end. See, that highlights the differences between their two corners. Now, turn to Matt Breathe here. and relax. Breathe and relax. Don't you know throw I mean? it. Yeah. You can show the middle nine to get him to react, but don't throw it because he's trying to catch it. Okay. okay. You, every transition, you'll kill him in. Okay? okay he's going to scoot towards the cage. You got to bar the guard quicker and pull that out. Don't let his arms come through. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Extremely Big technical breath, on one Big side, breath, extremely breath. emotional on the other side, and I don't believe that emotional stuff works. Unless you're Angelo Jundee, Talking to Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> You're blowing it, kid. <laughs> it's like one of the few times that's ever worked. Thank you. Fight! Fifth and final round. Five minutes remain. Will Johnson defend for the sixth time? Or will Horiguchi shock the world? Johnson's got him down. Horiguchi working his guard here. Let's see what kind of guard he's got. Looks like he's got strong pressure with the left leg and the back of the neck, but he can't get that right leg free. Demetrius is turning towards that right leg because he recognizes what he's trying to do and he uses it to pass. He's completely passed now. Horiguchi holding him with his legs. He's got a kind of a triangle here from the bottom. Johnson trying to get free and he's out. Yeah. Back to side control. You can hear Matt Hume in the background. He's like saying, trap his near arm. He's trying to get him to trap that left arm first. That's the first thing he wants him to do, excuse me, the right arm. Trap that right arm first in between his legs. Now he's, tra you know, he's trapping the right between his, uh, excuse me, the left between his, uh, his neck and his shoulder. And Horiguchi, hip escape, gets that knee into play. But the longer that this fight is right here, Joe, the longer Johnson seems to dominate and the chance for Horiguchi to score a shocking knockout late, non-existent when the fight takes place here. Yeah, and DJ just spun and took his back here. One hook in, slowly sneaking his way behind him, looking for that second hook. Three and a half remain in the fight. Here's his chance. Distance on the feet. Credit to Horiguchi the fact that this is the first time he's ever fought a five-round fight for the title like this. And he's, he's still got a lot of energy 
here in this fifth and final round. He's just getting outworked by a better fighter. And as you mentioned earlier, he's not even really fighting off those takedowns. He, he knows that Johnson's gonna complete him, so he's more concerned about, all right, I'm on my back, now let's just get back up to the feet. Which well, obviously Mighty Mouse makes very difficult. Yeah, I mean, he made an attempt at a triangle from the bottom. Yeah. I mean, he, he's trying to make something happen. It's just DJ's a step ahead. And again, here's, here's the same position again that we were talking about, where DJ is trying to trap arms. He's trying to trap it with the Kimura. Steps over to the side, but Horiguchi did a good thing by rolling out of it like that. But now he's giving up his back. But DJ can't hold on to the position. Nice job by Haraguchi getting out of there and getting back up to his feet. And look at the pressure, yes. Johnson right back, changing levels, taking Horaguchi down again. It's overwhelming. Unbelievable. The other dudes in this division watching that, just you better get up and start running. And we talk about fighters who make other great fighters look very ordinary. Demetrius Johnson is definitely one of those men. This is the guy, he's the guy that does that. Because he's not doing it with like Rumble Johnson type power or you know, Jones type length. Yeah, I mean, he's just doing it by sheer technique and conditioning and experience and fighting IQ. His Confidence. fight IQ is just off the charts. Confidence soaring. Makes him think he's gonna let him up, drops right back down, scoots his legs out. You, you get no breaks with this dude. 90 seconds away from his 10th yeah. UFC win. Side control once again. Now right in front of Matt Hume here. Had that late finish neck. that we talked about against Moraga. And Horiguchi trying very hard just to get to the end here. Wants to just get to the end. This would be the fifth oh, time. Oh, nice knee to the body by DJ. And DJ, Johnson. again, try to take that back. Looks like the first minute of the fight for Johnson still. Yep. Likely going five rounds for the fifth time. Defending his title here in Montreal. And one more. One more. Ridiculous. Just in case you were curious. Taking his back again, this time with an arm trap. This time with an arm trap. The transition. You can't again. say it enough, Joe. The transition. Oh, this, is this is the spot that he wanted to get to. Yeah, final 15 he seconds. Might, he might finish it here. Let's see. Eve Levine right there looks at the clock. Final seconds of this fight. He's spinning for the arm. Can he get it? He's it got it's it. all over. Unbelievable. It's all over. Johnson by submission. He's the best. I'm telling you, that kid is the best. Remember the Cub Swanson, Frankie Edgar thing? Did and he that's beat it? Over. There's Did he about beat one it? or two seconds left. 4.59. 4 oh my. What, what, someone find out when Cub Swanson tapped. Because I want to say it was 4.56. 4.56, wow, that's a new record. It's, you can't beat it. Unless it's 4.59.9, you can't beat it. It's the latest stoppage ever. The latest submission ever. Look how beautiful this is. Like he's, he's hammering him with these punches in the mounted crucifix. He knows there's very little time to go in a fight that he's absolutely dominating. Now watch his transition to mount. Look how slick this is. Right from here, look, boom, swift, boom, takes it. And Koraguchi knows there's one second to go and he still has to tap. That's the best. That's the best fighter on the planet Earth right there. And he finishes when he, when he doesn't even have to. It was a, a fight where he won every single round. He probably won every minute of every round. And he still finishes with one second to go. 4.59 of the fifth and final round. Winner by armbar, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Let's make it official. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And still, the undisputed.
undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson.